Hello, I'm Tara. <laughs> oh dear, Jamie. No, it, Tara's looking around for for leopards. I'm heading towards the hyena den now. I actually um, I stopped. Bec oh, we were occupied by a bird party. Oh, it's off. Well, settled stalker. Yeah. Hey, we have not seen one of these for ages. Not speaking about birds. Now this is unusual to see them walking through the thicket. Let's see if we can get a view there quickly. <coughs> there it goes. Look at that. Saddlebuild stalk. Wonderful. Now, this is a very unusual habitat for a saddlebuild stalk. I've never seen them moving through a thicket like this before. You can just see it. Hold on a second. Let's see. It might come out. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful saddlebuild stalk. It looks like a male. I see his very dark black eye. The females have got yellow around the eye, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I haven't uh, got it the other way around. I don't think so. Um, Tara, I'm actually, Tara's wondering where I was. I'm on Gallego shortcut, I'm close to the hyena den, but it's just one, now often these stalks are in pairs, yeah the male has got the dark eye, the female has got yellow around the eye, oh, that is wonderful, but it was such a surprise, I did see one flying over us the other day, let's see, there we go, Oh, that's great. It's going to come up. Oh, lovely. Craig, let me move forward for you a little bit. There we go. Oh, wow. As I said, that's quite unusual. Just because the saddlebuild stalks are often around water holes or dams. Now, to find one walking through a thicket like this is quite unusual. Unless, because it's winter... I'm trying hard to find food out here too. You can see that very beautiful yellow saddle on the beak, why and that's why it's called the saddle build stalk. But now it sounds like Jamie has got some lions playing. Let's go and have a look at those quickly.